dear engineering students welcome back to the channel hope you are all doing well and hope you are preparing for your examinations today i will discuss the most important topic of your mathematics subject that is angle between radius of vector and tangent of the curve this is uh, seven marks or eight marks question if i consider the vtu particularly so this is the definite question of seven or eight marks over here okay so let's try to understand this relationship uh, between radius of vector and tangent of the curve so first of all we have to understand what what does this radius of vector mean and what does this tangent of the curve mean right so you are observing here there is a figure so before we understand this particular figure over here so let me recall you people the cartesian coordinate system if you have remembered from your previous classes that is from 9th or 10th or from 11th or 12th class so here we have cartesian coordinate system in which we are dealing with the x and y these are called the cartesian coordinates means i am taking here the point p somewhere in the plan so how much distance it is from x axis sorry this is your x axis and y axis so how much distance it is from x axis or y axis that are your cartesian coordinates that is nothing but x comma y are your cartesian coordinates but in this particular concept we are discussing the polar system in which we are dealing with the polar coordinates so i am taking here i will be taking point p somewhere in the plan its coordinates will be r comma theta these r comma theta are nothing but polar coordinates so in polar coordinate uh, we have similarly we have here origin in this cartesian coordinate system we have also origin but in polar system this origin is called as pole okay so you should remember these terminologies roughly over here that is 0 comma 0 is called as pole and this p i am taking uh, the point somewhere in the plan its coordinates are r comma theta these are nothing but polar coordinates if i join this particular p point with this origin o i am calling it as r this is the distance from o to e this r is nothing but radius of vector in the polar system okay so these terminologies you should remember over here so this is called as radius of vector now i am taking here the angle theta which is between this initial line this o and x sorry this is ox is your initial line and it is making theta with this radius of vector that is what i have written over here theta is equal to angle between a radius of vector and this initial line ox initial line ox let p r comma theta be any point on the plane we have taken it as polar coordinates now if i am taking here the curve polar curve it is called as polar curve i will take here the curve i am calling it as r okay so this polar curve is making angle with this radius of vector this is the radius of vector it is making angle with this curve i am calling it as phi so i can write down here phi is the angle between a radius radius of vector right radius of vector and polar curve and polar curve okay so now i am here drawing the tangent so you know already what is tangent from the curve if i will draw the tangent means it will meet at one point only on this particular curve this line will meet only at a one point that is called your tangent so i am drawing this tangent over here i am calling it as t t is the tangent and this i am calling as psi or xi whatever you call it the xi is the angle between this tangent and this initial line ox i can write down here psi is equal to angle between tangent angle between tangent and initial line ox so this is your ox line this is your tangent xi is the angle which is between this initial line and tangent tangent this is all about this particular figure now we have to uh, derive this relationship that is angle between the radius of vector and tangent of the curve similarly we will proceed over here so first of all you should be knowing from the basic classes itself that exterior angle is always equal to the sum of opposite interior angles so to this xi which is the opposite angle this theta and this phi is also as opposite angle so exterior angle is always equal to sum of interior angles opposite interior angles you can write down here that is your psi is equal to theta plus phi so this is all about this particular figure we have only this much information now how to tackle how to proceed this particular relationship over here so in mathematics also uh, one should having the thought process okay how to tackle the question what should be the assumptions okay so here i am observing if i will apply tan on this particular equation on both sides i will get some relationships now i am applying tan on both sides so tan of psi is equal to tan of theta plus 
phi okay i have just assumed that uh, tan of psi is equal to tan of theta plus phi over here now this is your formula that is tan a plus b you know already tan of psi is equal to tan a plus b it is always equal to tan a plus tan of b i am not taking here a b uh, that, uh, just because we have here theta and uh, phi instead of a and b so tan a plus tan of b divided by 1 minus tan a tan b this is your formula that is tan a plus b is equal to tan a plus tan b divided by 1 minus tan a tan b okay so now we have this one relationship i will call it as equation one okay let me rub it now so that this solution will be just fixed on this particular board over here i have a shortage of space so also you know about the slope so slope is always equal to tan of theta okay so here we have tangent that is a t is over here and angle is psi so i should know this point m is the slope which is here tan of xi okay i can call it as tan of xi so slope is always equal to tan of theta we can also write it as dy upon dx differentiation of y with respect to x this is the definition of actually slope okay so this is the concept which you should know from previous classes okay it is the separate topic how the slope is equal to dy by dx but no need to go into the depth just because this is the seven marks question and you can easily tackle if you just remember this slope equation over here that is tan of psi is equal to dy upon dx so you should remember this one i will call it as second equation okay now we have to assume here two things we don't know about x and y okay just because we are dealing with the polar coordinate system so now how to calculate this x and y okay you have to assume just x is equal to r cos of theta and y is equal to r sine of theta you have to assume these equations over here that is your third equation this is your fourth equation okay so x is equal to r cos of theta and y is equal to r sine of theta now we have to approach to this particular equation first of all i will differentiate these two equations over here with respect to theta okay so differentiate above equations with respect to theta okay so i will just differentiate it so dx upon d theta is equal to r this is here uv rule you have already learned uh, this uv rule in the differentiation part that is where u is here v is here first of all let us kept this v as it is that is cos of theta as it is differentiation of this u so d uh, r a differentiation of r is dr by d theta i hope you know uh, much more about the differentiation if you are not knowing so let me know in the comment section so that i can make a separate uh, video on basic differentiation over here so this is here uv rule first of all i will kept v as it is cos of theta as it is differentiation of this r that is dr by d theta now i am just uh, making r as it is plus r as it is differentiation of cos theta is minus sign of theta i hope you are getting my point so this is differentiation of this much now differentiation of this y with respect to theta that is your dy upon d theta is equal to sine theta as it is same here is uv rule so sine theta differentiation of r is dr by d theta plus now this r as it is differentiation of sine theta is cos of theta we are getting this term over here so i can just uh, simplify uh, this term over here that is dx upon d theta which is equal to cos of theta dr by d theta uh, plus into minus is minus r sine of theta okay this we are getting as dx by d theta dy by d theta now we can write down this uh, second equation as from equation second from equation second this tan of xi is equal to dy by dx i can write down it as dy upon d theta dx upon d theta this d theta and d theta will get cancelled again we will get with dy by dx now you will ask me why you have taken this uh, d theta and d theta just because we have differentiate uh, we have differentiated this uh, equation over here third and fourth we got dx by d theta this is here dx by d theta and dy by d theta over here that is why i just write down it as dy by d theta and dx by d theta this will not affect this particular equation if you cancel d theta d theta you will again get dy by dx now we will just put down 
these dy by d theta value in this particular equation and dx by d theta in this equation over here okay first of all let me check is it clear to you people or not so i hope it is visible now first of all let me rub this much then we will try to understand later on procedure for this particular problem first of all this you should remember this first equation i will write it uh, on the top that is tan of xi is equal to tan of theta plus tan of phi divided by 1 minus tan of theta plus tan of phi sorry 1 minus tan theta tan phi this is not plus this is tan theta tan of phi over here okay this is your first equation now we are arriving at this particular second equation we have to put down these values in this particular equation i can write down tan of xi is equal to instead of dy by d theta what i can write this uh, sin theta dr by d theta sin theta dr by d theta plus or cos of theta divided by this dx by d theta it is equal to cos theta dr by d theta cos th theta dr by d theta and we have here minus r times sine of theta okay now how to solve this uh, particular equation over here let me divide so i can write down here divide cos theta dr by d theta to the numerator and denominator divide this cos theta this term cos uh, theta dr by d theta to the numerator and denominator itself okay to numerator and denominator okay so now let me tell you uh, what it becomes over here that is your sine of theta dr by d theta i have to divide numerator with this particular term that is cos of theta dr by d theta plus or cos of theta to this term also you have to divide this term okay cos of theta dr by d theta okay this is your numerator part now denominator we have already here cos of theta dr by d theta divided by we have to divide it also as cos of theta dr by d theta i hope you are getting this uh, point over here we are dividing this cos theta dr d theta to the numerator and denominator also Pl minus r sine of theta divided by cos theta dr by d theta we are dividing numerator with this particular term uh, to the whole numerator and denominator now see this is what dr by d theta dr by d theta will get cancel it out you will get with sine theta upon cos theta you know already it is equal to tan of theta plus this cos theta and cos theta will get cancelled you will remain with r this dr by d theta if you just reciprocal it you will get d theta by dr right divided by this cos dr by d theta cos dr by d theta will get cancelled out you will get with 1 minus this is your r as it is sine theta upon cos theta it is equal to tan of theta and you will remain with this r and dr by d theta if you just reciprocal it you will get with d theta by d r okay now we have here the equation that is tan of xi is equal to tan theta plus r d theta by dr 1 minus tan theta r d theta by dr this i call as fifth equation okay now if i compare this fifth equation with this first equation try to resume the things right so tan xi we have here tan xi we have here so left hand sides are equal when in the equation left hand sides are equal right hand sides are always equal see here now tan theta here we have also here also we have tan of theta plus here we have tan of phi here we have r d theta by dr i just told you that once left hand sides are always equal therefore right hand sides will be always equal over here so this term tan of phi will be equal to this term rest of the term see here one is here one is here minus is here minus is here tan theta is here tan theta is here simply we have here the term r d theta by dr r d theta by dr here we have tan of phi tan of phi so you will just conclude by comparing this uh, first and fifth equation we will get this tan of phi is equal to r d theta by dr so this is your tan of sorry yes tan of phi tan of phi is equal to this r d theta by d r okay so this is your whole derivation of this angle between radius of vector and tangent of 
tangent of curve simply they will ask you in the examination prove that tan of phi is equal to r d theta by dr or sometimes they will ask you cot it's uh, opposite so you know already uh, opposite of tan is cot okay i can write down also here cot of phi cot is just the reciprocal of tan of phi so here i will get with 1 by r this dr by d theta so these are your derivations of cot of phi is equal to 1 by r dr by d theta and tan phi is equal to r d theta by dr so this is the whole derivation of this polar coordinate system i hope uh, it is clear to you people if you have some doubts you can ask in the comment section so make sure you will share uh, this video to your friends and all your batchmates who are struggling in the mathematics subject thank you